Yo, so let's get back to that testimony. Man, <clears throat> yo, that was deep. You know, um, I'm lost for words for what, you know, you you shared. That was inspirational, honestly, and motivational as well, you know. So uh, for those people that just joined who haven't heard the first part, you know, at the end I asked about charge and tribulation along the way and, you know, want to pretty much let out out there, you know, and it was it was very honest, you know, and I appreciate you for 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 sharing that with a lot of us. And we can learn a lot from that alone, you know, and hopefully when I share this, you know, cats can like, yo, go check this out because y'all gonna need uh, uh, some inspiration, you know, this I feel like this is one of the deepest interview that I have, you know. So oh, thank you. you know, I mean that's yeah, that's phenomenal. I mean, so so after so after, you know, you got back into breaking, right? The yeah. you know, the with the whole deal, uh or deal with, you know, you wanna, you know, commit suicide, what have you, and then you found you found God and and you start getting your 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 breaking back on point. And so what what happens in, what happened after that? Like do you do you like end up getting a job or? <laughs> so, um, yeah, man, I, 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 I did a hospitality for a while. I went to school for hospitality. I worked for restaurants and, um, you know, being a single mother, when you work for a restaurant, that's your life. And mm -hmm. I was working like about 50, 50 to 55 hours a week, you know, so it's like mm. 10 hours a day. You know what I'm saying? And, the sacrifice. Um, yeah, you know, when you're paying for everything, like, you you, you have another life with you that is dependent mm -hmm. on you, and that's your blood. And, and you see life differently when you, when you have a child. Because at mm -hmm. first, you know, it was always about me and what I wanted and where I wanted to go and, and who I wanted to meet and blah, 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 my time. But when you have mm -hmm. a daughter, when you have a son... It's like you have to learn to kind of die to yourself. You know mm. what I'm saying? You have to learn what's the priority here. And what am I doing um, that is going to inspire her? What am mm. I going to do to have a legacy down that I can pass down to her? You know, mm. and, and you start seeing those kind of things. And, you know, what do I have to change? You know, what what is she seeing in me that that she's going to attach herself to and and mm -hmm. there's certain things that i had to change you know being angry or or being short-tempered or or acting out or you know because that little girl is next you know mm -hmm. i have to teach her what's right and what's wrong i have to change my ways and myself so that she's able to grow properly so that she's able to mm -hmm. know she's so she's home trained you know, mm. and, right. and, you know, how, how well she's going to respect. Because back in, when my mom was raising me, she's like, yo, you either learn at home or the world's going to mm. teach you what's up. And mm. I, I right. took that to heart. I was scared. I, you know, every time my mom was like, yo, we're going to go to the bathroom. You know, I'm going to spank you. Like, mm -hmm. I, you know, I mm -hmm. was, I was like disciplined, you know, and, you know, I had a pass that down to my daughter, but the right way, you know, whatever I learned from my parents, I had to pick and choose like, all right, this is how I'm going to raise my daughter as well as, you know, having God mm -hmm. in my life. You know, I have, I have to have God in my life to, to know what the heck I'm going to be doing with my daughter because then I wouldn't, right. you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. um, you know, being that, that it, it's, it was, it's hard. It's not an easy thing to be a mother. It's not an easy thing to, yeah. to be a single mother. And it's not easy to be a mother in general. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I commend all the mothers out there and fathers out there that are single mm -hmm. and or that are in a marriage or, you know, trying to deal whatever situation that they're dealing with. Because it's, it's not easy, man. When, when mm -hmm. you're responsible for a child... <laughs> Like yeah. that child is being molded and, and it's just like, it's scary. It's the scariest thing, man. And, and, uh, I commend, I commend parents. I commend people, especially 
people that are don't even have kids, you know, at, mm-hmm. struggling with mm-hmm. bills, struggling with depression or struggling with anything like social media is funny because people try to pinpoint their life to look a certain way. And, and mm-hmm. then people start to judge that person. And it's like, mm-hmm. yo, you don't know. You don't know what's going on with that person. You have no clue mm. what's going on, what's inside. And people think that, oh, that person's living a luxurious life. You know, that person seems happy. But in reality, it's like, you don't know. You don't mm-hmm. know what's going on. So, right, right. you know, to make a long story short, you know, I, I, I had to learn to be a mother quick. I had to learn how to, how to be an adult quick. Because when you get caught up in hip hop, and when you get caught up in the b world, it's like you, you become stagnant. You know what I'm saying? You, you feel like, you Real. feel like, you feel like, oh, my followers are enough. You know, I, mm-hmm. whatever I'm doing is good. Like, I got my people. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, no. You know, right. Thousand, What's outside all, of all, breaking? All, you know, yeah, like, like, are like, you, are models, you, you know, how's your life goals, you know, beside breaking, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the key thing that new generation should 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 understand first and foremost. You know, I think at the age right now, you know, they're competing, what have you. So that's that's great. But once, like in my last interview with, I think, why not? Um, no, my last interview was Zeki, but the, the my interview with why not? I was saying, you know, we're we're at the top, but then you got to know, like there's you're always going to have this period where you're going to fall, right? <laughs> and so that's where your life goals got to come out. You know, what What are your life goals? You know, yeah. if you want to continue with breaking, okay, then, okay, you got to you gotta learn business. You got to learn marketing and this and that, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to continue that breaking, you know, uh, goal, right? It's not just train and go to competition. You expect to pay the bills, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not going to happen, you know, until you get either a sponsor and you got to know business, right? And so, right. yeah, you, you can create a career. Um, but but don't assume, like, you at the top and <laughs> you're making millions of dollars. That's not happening right now and breaking, you know, well, but that's look, reality. Look, look at this. If, if, if people want to do that choice of living, of of being in the b-boy world forever and live off of that it's Mm -hmm. like okay look at a businessman look at a businessman perspective a businessman doesn't just invest into just one company they invest Mm -hmm. into other companies other things that are happening that are going to get their money back you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. so that's the kind of thing that in b-boying it's like yeah you can break and you can break and you can do all these things but what else are you investing your Mm -hmm. time in what else yeah, is going yeah. to help you with that? You know what I'm saying? And and for me, yeah. like I tried the whole industry thing, and it it, it wasn't for me. It that's that's me. It right. wasn't for and me. When you say and industry thing, are you talking about Hollywood? Hollywood. I'm, talk, like, I'm talking addiction. about like like doing dancing my for a living. Whole, for a living. Like right. like doing auditions, any way that I can support myself with dancing. I wanted to do that. And I, and I, and I sacrificed a really, when I was like maybe 21, 22, 21, I sacrificed a good job. I was working for Nordstrom. I was making money. I was able to move up in that company. I was able to make, um, you know, get shares off of that company. I was moving up, you know, Mm -hmm. and supposedly, but I was like, yo, I want to break. I want to break. I want to be the best B girl. I want to, I want to do it all in, in dancing. And I left that job and, and I had bills to pay. I had bills to pay. Oh, I, I, I got into a dance company. Way, huh? Yeah, I learned the hard <laughs> way. I had bills to pay. I had, you know, so many, I had, I was in debt. I was in mm-hmm. debt, you know, and, and, but these are my choices. These are the sacrifices that I wanted to make. And I was breaking every day. I was doing a dance company. I was doing all these auditions. I was, and, and, and when I went to this audition, the last audition that I went with, uh, went to, I looked at my, at my friends and I was like, I, I talked to Enzo. I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't like this. Mm. I, I hate the fact of seeing a wannabe 
break dancer copying someone else's move that does, that they're not even in the culture and then they make thousands and thousands of dollars off that audition because that's not even their move like i, I was like i this is not for me like this is the most fakest thing i have ever put myself in you know what i'm saying so i i, I just this is not honest for me but don't get me wrong i'm not gonna knock off someone else's hustle i'm like yo you guys want to do this cool i'll support you guys but for me in my journey this is not for me so mm. i ended up leaving i was like i'm gonna just go back to getting a job i'm gonna adjust whatever schedule that i have to do to make time to go break Mm-hmm. And you know everybody has their own path. Everybody has their own way of adjusting their life and their time and their investment in breaking. So that's what mm-hmm. I did. I was like, "Yo, I'm going to work and I'm going to have constant income coming in from this job that I'm going to work for and go to school and then I'm going to break." And mm-hmm. that's it. And that's what I did. And I was doing restaurant for a long time. I was bartending. I was one of the best bartenders. I worked for fine dining. I I been I ended up becoming management. I ended up, you know, doing making money. I ended up making creating new drinks. Like it was another path. And then, you know, when I got pregnant, I was still working restaurant job. Um, you know, I was learning a lot, but I wasn't happy. I was not happy. I was um you know i i recently i asked god i was like god what is it that you want me to do in my life because it can't be just being bur- it can't be burgers it can't be working at a restaurant you know with burgers i can't I like no it has to be more i have i have more to offer so mm-hmm. you know i got uh an opportunity to work for a law firm and mm. i ended up taking it and it was the hugest like the huge pay, like um pay cut that i had mm-hmm. but i was like yo yeah, yeah. you know i've always was learning about law and mm-hmm. i've always wanted to fight for people and i've always wanted to speak for people so why not mm-hmm. i'll take it mm-hmm. so right. i i love it now i work for a law firm and and i was like yo this is the illest thing i this is hip hop like how is this not hip hop to to mm-hmm. not help people, help your community out, help mm-hmm. you know someone that has a domestic violence case or you know someone that has been hurt or someone has lost property or has been like going through things in their life. You all want to help them. Mm-hmm. You know, so you know learning all this stuff, I was like, "Oh, this is dope. This is the, this is the illest thing ever." And then you know, my boss is like, "Yo, I want to pay for your school. I want to pay for your law school." And I'm like, "What?" So I ended mm-hmm. up doing that. So now, you know, going to be going to school for law and now I work for a law firm and I'm able to have that time to spend with my daughter. And then mm-hmm. now I work for a part-time job too to and I work for Lids. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm happy with that too. You know, I get hats, I get hooked up with hats. Mm-hmm. I'm able to go work at a law firm too. I'm able to go to school and I'm able to spend time with my daughter. And don't get me wrong, I got my struggles. I got my struggles still and that's life. Yeah, yeah, it but is I'm, fine. But I'm but I'm at peace. You know what I'm saying? And I'm and I'm able to um reflect on all right, man, like now I'm at this point of breaking. What is it what's next that I got to learn? What's this next chapter that I that I'm going to take on? This next season. And yo, now I'm practicing my back spins. Like, yo, I'm ready. Like I'm ready for this next chapter. Mm-hmm. Like I I want to compete again and I want to teach people now that i'm doing workshops you know i'm teaching people how to cipher mm. because how else are they going to learn what how else right, are they going right. to survive you know what i'm saying and 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 know how to talk this talk in this dance because there's a lot mm-hmm. of people that don't know how to cipher and i'm just like yo what ha- what's going on here what happened mm-hmm. you know and so now that i'm on the season of teaching teaching and and bat- and I want to keep battling. I want to battle people and cuz that's how I'm going to learn. So mm. you know, that that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, so, so basically your your journey is take break in as just a side thing, right? Which is a side thing, but your main focus right now is is trying to get this more law degree. Is that what you're trying to get? 
you going to law school trying to get yes. the law degree yeah i mean but i, I think there, I, I don't see it as like yo hip breaking is on the side for me i don't i don't see it as that it, it's a part of me it's a part of my right, life right. you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying and and like i've seen people that that like look at lady one that girl travels everywhere that girl's in mexico mm-hmm. that girl's mm-hmm. breaking and graffiti you know like this girl mm-hmm. is a living and breathing hip-hop you know what i'm saying and mm-hmm. and but there's also people that that are working in the medical field like look at eddie styles from rock so mm-hmm. fresh this guy is an uh an x-ray technician so there's something mm-hmm. like that sorry if i if i messed that up but you know mm-hmm. he's still breaking and he's still playing like i i really believe that this culture you know it's not just a b-boy it's like yo i'm a lawyer and i break You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you can yeah, be a, yeah, yeah, exactly. you can be a yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you can be a B-boy and you can be a doctor. You know what I'm saying? You can like you can be a it's like saying you you came from being poor and you became mm-hmm. the president. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like like mm-hmm. why not a B-boy can have that that sort of title to be that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I, I'm an investor, but I break too. Like, so, w- w- you're you're nurturing this culture and bringing people to be like, yo, I'm a business owner, and I can break. Mm-hmm. You know, and then mm-hmm. and this culture becomes more fruitful. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, people thought of this culture as like, yo, it's poor, and it's mm-hmm. nothing, and it and, it's, and you're not gonna learn anything from it. But it's like, yo, you have doctors, you have investors, you have business owners, you have like people that are web designers you have people that are creative in the music industry and it's like yo like this culture is so fruitful and mm-hmm. the next person that comes from nothing they can be like yo that that b-boy bugle is a, is a, is in the real estate i mm-hmm. could do that too and break you know what i'm saying yeah, so it's like exactly. you create you create this image and this possibility that yo I don't have to just be a dancer. I'm I'm a dancer and this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what I encourage people to say like, yo, like Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm like multiple like, incomes, like, right? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like like what if what if the next president is a B-boy or a B-girl mm. and they're like, right. yo, I'm the president and I'm a B-girl. Like I know my culture. You know what I'm saying? Like that 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 will be the illest you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and there are there's there's so many attorneys and there's so many people that are in, in the senate in the house that come from hip hop you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. who would ever thought wu tang would ever have this investment deal like you know what i'm saying like look right, at what, right. how much food for our culture is look at crazy legs this guy has mm-hmm. built this platform or or he came from rock city that people have made him Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Crazy Legs didn't become Crazy Legs just because of himself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? People, I didn't come who I am because of me. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people don't give that that recognition to to other people that have helped them be where they are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I feel like our culture needs is that recognition. You know what I'm saying? Is is Yeah, those people matter because I wouldn't be where I'm at. Hell no, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Regardless of of whatever they went through in their life, I wouldn't be where I'm at still. So, you know, that that's where I see in breaking like, yeah, like I I will always invest time in this culture because it's a part of me no matter mm-hmm. what. But what is Omar talking about now? What are you talking about, Omar? I, I don't know. I, I was listening. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But yeah. Yeah. But... So, so yeah. W- within hip hop, I mean, there's many lanes. You know, um, like you're saying, like you can be a b boy if you want to focus on being a b boy for the rest of your life and get sponsored. Then that's your lane. You know, and yeah. but for you, it's like, hey, I want to get into to. I want to get a law degree, you know, and at the same time, I can still break and teach and travel and break, you know, and I'm getting multiple income from both, you know. <laughs> Breaking is more like play money for you, right? Once you get that law degree and being part of a law firm officially, you know, like the pay grade for breaking isn't 
you know, compared to a law firm. I, ne- I, I never, I never got into breaking because of money or or fame. I, I just wanted a battle. I just wanted to mm-hmm. like, yo, I could dance too. Like, I want to do this too. Like, it was right, like. Right. You know, I got into locking, and then I got into popping, and then I started breaking, and then what is that? Everyone's going nuts on these comments. I know. <laughs> Re- Republican B Boy is going to support Republican. the corporations. Democratically going to support. <laughs> Yo, why the future talk about she's taking around you time? Democratic B boys ain't messing with this Ben Hartstees. <laughs> Yo, y'all great. <laughs> oh man. But Yo. but so, but let me ask you though. So just say, just say you know Nike or somebody, right? But hey, I want to sign you for a hundred grand a year. Will you take that? Will you sign it? Will you sign with them to be official B girl? You know. You know what? If it if it helps this community grow, because this is the thing, I got asked that question before, and mm. I was like, you know what? If if I were to get signed by Nike or whoever, I would actually use that money to mm. donate to dance studios from for b boys or invest into the mm. community. Like, what am I gonna do with all that money? I could I could mm. pocket it easily, but knowing that you know, God's watching me, I have mm-hmm. to make sure that this money goes out back to the community. Yeah, you know, yeah, if, yeah. if I were to win like $15,000, you know, whatever competition that I win, I would make sure that that money goes back to, you know, juice or mm-hmm. local recreation centers. Right, right. Or, of course. you know, and, you know, make sure that back. they get that. Right. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? And, and don't get me wrong, like where I work, I'm not making money. I'm not making mm-hmm. money in a law firm. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows mm-hmm. that you got to pay dues somewhere. The only mm-hmm. one that the only person that's making money is either the judge, the attorney, in some mm-hmm. sort of way. But I'm not. I'm not making jack. But I love what I do, and that's the same thing mm-hmm. the mentality that I had in breaking. Like I do breaking because I love it, mm-hmm. and whatever comes at me. I have to pick and choose what's going to benefit the culture as well as myself and yeah. my daughter. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so, you know, it, it, I would love to get signed by Nike. You nuts? Yeah. I mean, at, the, at the end of the day, they have to support your vision, right? Yeah. Like, it's a partnership, right? So to say Nike come and they're like, hey, I have 100 grand, but you got to do this. And you'd be like, wait, no. That's that's not my mission statement, or that's not my vision. So that's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? So so yeah, like like if a corporation comes to you, yeah, they gotta support your vision, right? At the same time, you help. And and that's and that's okay money. too. Like if if I were to lose on that multi million dollar contract or whatever that contract is, it's okay. Mm-hmm. It's okay. So mm-hmm. sorry, Hello? someone people be yeah. calling me. So. Um, Oh, okay. But that's okay. You know, it's okay for me to walk away from something like that because I'm at peace. I think, for me, I feel like the next generation will get those type of deals. Yep. Uh, and for me, I, I just I just know, like, this next generation, you know, like, casting the current generation now, like, and his, like, the ZQ and, you know, the Vicious Vic, and, you know, they're, they're going to be the ones that's gonna, you know, they're already sponsored, right? And mm-hmm. and hopefully other heads, the younger heads gonna come and and get more, you know, sponsors and deals, what have you, you know? So, I mean, I welcome that. You know, I don't, I don't think there's nothing wrong with... Um, like I, like I said before, it, it's what you do with that power. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's what, yeah, yeah. what are you going to do and you're responsible for those choices that you do because you got to, uh, like, when you take those contract deals, it's like, mm-hmm. okay, now you're, now you're a representative, you're representing this culture that everybody has put their blood and sweat and tears in this culture to be honest and to be real. You mm-hmm. are the spokesman 
They chose mm-hmm. you to be the spokesman and this representative representative to represent this culture. Mm-hmm. So what are you going to do with that? And everybody's watching. Everybody's mm-hmm. watching. And expect that. Yeah. Expect that judgment. Yeah, yeah. Expect expect all these things because there's consequences with those things. There's consequences. Yeah, and that's the great thing that you, so, you just said because I had a I had an interview with Zeku. You know, I had a conversation with Zeku last week. Yeah. And one of the things he said was like, I mean, he's a young head. He's 20 years old, but yo, he got a lot of wisdom for for how old, you know, and, and it was like, yo, we just need to be more professional and, you know, so, you know, he, he don't really drink or smoke. He really want to represent us in a positive light, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. and be that, you know, be that bridge, bridge the gap, you know what I'm saying? And and be representative uh, ambassador, you know, like, hey, we're stand-up people. We're not just a bunch of street dudes, you know, we're, we're pros here. Look at us as, as pros, not, oh, just a bunch of dudes is, you know, flying around or, or just sweeping their heads around the floor. No, there's, there's techniques and, and there's a lifestyle involved in this. And we train hard, you know, day in, day out. And so... That's a great mindset, and, and that's the thing. I think we need to push that more in a positive light. You know what I mean? And I think, yeah, like you said, if if it aligned with what the positivity and what hip hop coach is about, I think it'd be great. You know, um, for the next generation to have certain deals that support their vision. You know, what they're about as, as artists. You know, and so I'll welcome that. And yeah, I mean. <laughs> That's the thing. It's, Somebody it's, like you, I mean, you, you're in a law firm, right? I mean, you can help them represent. I mean, you know the law, right? So maybe you true. get into, that's true. you know, some type of, uh, contract you know, deals. contract deals with them and, and, and help them like, yo, they're trying to play you out here. I can help, you know, my law firm got you. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. Just keep the ball rolling for everybody, you know? And so I think I think in the future, in the near future, I said, you know, five to 10 years, like it would be hopefully how the ball is the ball is rolling right now. And we'll, we'll get more, you know, sponsorships and all that, you know, um, I think because at the end of the day, go ahead. Sorry, I, I wanted to say that there's a lot of people that look up to all these cats that are, you know, in Monster, in in Red Bull, and and which is great. You know, it's great to have people that have, you know, made it in that sort of way. But I think people too much invest in them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They have these expectations. And it's like, well, you kind of have to see it too, that they're new to it too. Mm-hmm. They're new to it too. Mm-hmm. They're new to this to being in in that contract deal they're new in this culture they're in that sort of way and we kind of have to not like expect too much Mm. you know and you gotta have to be peace with yourself because Mm. it's like like i said earlier you gotta be responsible for for you and you gotta be responsible for what your choices in this culture what you're putting out because Mm -hmm. you know you never know what's going to happen with any of them like they might make a wrong choice wrong decision but that's that's human we're all human and and mm-hmm. we kind of have to see it as like yo i can't put all my time and effort in, in in expecting you know what they're gonna do in the culture i have to what am i gonna do mm-hmm. you know put your part in it if they're not mm-hmm. doing something that you expect them to do then you do it mm-hmm. don't expect them yeah. to do something that that you want so it's right you know what i'm saying like just i i think it's great i think it's great that people have these you know contract deals but like i said before like you're gonna have to take the ugly and the good with it Mm -hmm. like don't be mad when somebody calls pulls out your card your hip-hop card and be like yo what what's going on here you're representing Mm -hmm. us so Mm -hmm. why are you doing this you know what i'm saying so it's just like Mm -hmm. You got to take the bad and the good. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, and you got to be at peace with yourself. And you can't expect so much from these people. You, you can't. Because then you're living through them. And you're not really doing you. So, yeah. Right, right. 
Yeah, everybody got their own lane, you know, and if people, that's their goal is want to get sponsored, that's the opportunity for them, then that's great, you know, I support them. And if people want to go another route of finding a career, want to be a doctor, engineer, you know, whatever it is, lawyers, you know, scientists, I don't know, you know, then that's the way too, you know, but I just, I just don't want to where people start dissing each other because, oh, they're doing that and, or you're not doing that, you know, it's like, everybody got their own lane, you know what I'm saying, like, that's the thing, like, who are you to tell somebody else how they live their life, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, they gotta pay bills, they have to feed their mom, pop, grandma, sister, you know, Mm -hmm. kids, what Mm happened, we don't know, we don't know their life situation, Mm-hmm. So of course they might oh fifty grand all right I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna sign that because yo I need that right now life is hard you know I'm depressed or somebody like Boss One yo I'm from Philly you know what I'm saying I have no way out I gotta take this check mm-hmm. you know and I I'm, I'm I'm telling you right now I have a lot of cats in the hood would love to just cash out like yo all right, I'm gonna sign because they they came from a different lifestyle you know yeah. what I mean when I when I say from the from the hood, like, I'm talking about the hood. I'm talking about cats that's, that don't have nothing else, mm-hmm. you know, but mm-hmm. do street activities, you know what I mean? But for mm-hmm. them to get opportunities to to get signed, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, yo, that's a way that's a way out for them. I, I would never want to see a cat get locked up for dumb shit, you know what I mean? I'd rather them to represent something positive in a way, you know, and sign a contract deal and get paid, you know, and, and doing what they love to do. And then, of course, through their journey, they're going to learn. Like you said earlier, it's it's going to be a learning experience for them, right? So once they get into it, they're going to learn the business aspect. They're going to, mm-hmm. I'd rather have that experience for them. I'd rather have them go on that journey rather than not sign a contract and end up behind bars and some shit. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, those opportunities, I, you know, I welcome that for 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 people that have the opportunity to sign, you know, these, and, and these this, contract and, deals. You know and the I thing mean? about hip hop is, you know, <laughs> people try to throw their own convictions on on these people, and it's mm-hmm. like you gotta let them learn. And I'm piggybacking mm-hmm. to what you say. You gotta let them figure it out. You gotta let them grow. You gotta, you know, everybody has a conscience. You know what I'm saying? Everybody mm-hmm. knows what right, what's the right thing and what's the wrong thing to do. And so you you gotta let them figure it out. You gotta make mm-hmm. let them make those decisions and those choices. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So there's always a cause and effect to something. So mm-hmm. you know, I I I hope that they make the best judgment or best mm-hmm. decision for them as well mm-hmm. as other people that are that they're representing in this culture. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. But I'm not going to expect, you know, so mm-hmm. much. I'm not. Because then I'm going right, to be disappointed right. in myself. So, you know, I all I can do is just be like, I hope them well. You know, I, I'll yeah. pray for them. You, you know, but, lead by example. Yep. You know? And, and that's the only way. That's the only solution is, is you want to want to be the solution to a problem. You got to lead by example. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, shouts to, shouts to everybody. That's out there grinding, you know, <laughs> trying to put food easy. in their table, yep. you know, every day, whatever route you're, you're going, you know, yeah, life's not easy, you know, yep. and we can all sit here and say, yeah, life is grand, you know, and we are, we are, we got it all good. And nah, not even, even the billionaires have issues, you know what I'm saying? Their issue is yep. just, yo, they can get sued by another corporation or, you know, and Oh, yeah. When you're a billionaire, you get sued for millions and billions. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. that's the thing. With, like, like, like I them. have friends that's, yep. that are millionaires, you know, and, yo, they catch a lawsuit and it's like, yo, I can basically be over. You know what I mean? So, their lifestyle, we might think like, yo, you know, they got all good. Nah, they, they don't. They have the same uh, life issues that we're having, you know, okay. it's just on a different scale. You know what I mean? But but keep grinding, y'all. <laughs> For real, yes. like that's what yes. you gotta do. 
Um, I want to reach out to the heads in the in the chat. Yep. You have any questions um, for for Wanda? You know, before we close it out. Shout out to everybody that's in this joint. I'm 23 at Biznor. That's exactly balance, you know? And that's the thing. Like, you can invest, you know, in different industry. Oh, yo, let me invest in the breaking community. Or let me invest in, you know, real estate. Or let me invest into whatever it is, right? <laughs> so make your money grow and give back, right? That's the whole point is to give back and, yes. and inspire people based on, you know, what you uh, put back into the community, you know? Yes. So um, that's the key thing. It's not about how much money you make. It's how much you give, you know, uh, at the end of the day. It's not how much you make, you know. Uh, it's how much you give back. And yeah. so that's the key thing. Like, you can't get greedy and, uh, and you know. <clears throat> Invest into community outreach. If you get, uh, you know, if you're making mad money, then yo, invest back. You know, we got cash like Wanda. <laughs> I try, <laughs> yeah, I right. try, man, I try. Yo. <laughs> but how can you? How can someone from Portland learn from you? Reach out to her, right, Erica? Shout out to Erica. Shout out to Erica. Um. Uh. I don't know. How is the breaking scene for Portland? I know there's a few cats, right? There's uh, Yo, uh, uh Asian One is there, right? No, she's in Denver. No. She's in Denver. Oh, she's originally from Denver. Portland. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, yo, just hit me up on, on Instagram. Yeah. Any questions that you have? or I'll Let me put this. your tag in here. Hold on. All right. Get at Wanda, uh, Wanda Slick. I have a question. Okay, Omar. What is what a real is crew? crew? Go ahead. A real crew is taking the good and the bad of every single one, of every single person. You gotta, you gotta make a choice. You're either in it or you're not. And, you know, everybody in the crew is going to have a different character, different personality, different traits, different, like, it's a family. It's a complete mm -hmm. yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. And and you're, there's going to be fights and there's going to be this, there's going to be agreements, there's going to be disagreements, there's going to be times where you hate that person. There's going to be times where you're like, yo, I, I'm done with this crew, this is <laughs> it. <Right>. And da, <laughs> da, da, da. But at the same time, it's like, you know, you have to make a decision. Is this is this crew beneficial to you? Are you in this mm -hmm. crew because of the name? Are you in this crew because you want to get your name? Or are you in this crew because of you love them? You know what I'm saying? So it just depends on where the crew is at, um, what the crew stands for, and even if you leave, mm -hmm. is that crew is that crew still going to call you their crew? You know what I'm saying? Like, when I left Concrete, mm -hmm. um, I didn't leave, you know, because of, you know, them. I left because, you know, I'm a mother now. I have this journey with God. And they all respected that. They all mm -hmm. respected that. And, and they said, yo, even though you chose to leave, we still see you as crew. And that's yeah. when you know that's your crew. That's, that's yeah, when you yeah, know yeah. they love you no matter what. That's when you know that's your family. And that's mm -hmm. a real crew. You know, yeah, when, yeah. You, when, some, when you decide to leave and journey off to something else, they still have your support. That's a real crew. And I, and I respect them so much because I told them, I'm like, yo, even though I'm not representing that name, I still represent you guys as my family, as my friends. Yeah, of course. And, mm -hmm. and I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to go to the birthday parties. I'm still going to go hang out with you guys because I don't see you as just a B-boy. I see you mm -hmm. as a friend. I see you as a brother. And when you, mm -hmm. and when you establish that, and when it's, when, it's, when it's like vice versa, that's a real crew. Mm. That's what the real crew is. And so there's your answer, Omar. That's what a real crew is. <laughs> hey. Yeah. 
I agree with you. Is this my first team? When people ask, "Hey, what's real? What is, what is a real crew?" I ask them back, like, "Hey, have you ever been in a fight with one of?" Crew <laughs> I've <members>? seen those <laughs> like, argument for you know, yep. like that's that's the first time I ask, like, "Hey, if you ever have a, a verbal argument with that person, or like a really like." <laughs> like fight you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. that's when you know like this is real crew or not you know mm -hmm. because if you, if you in a crew where everybody's just mingling everything's all good then mm, i don't know you know what i'm saying but when mm -hmm. you're the real crew there's gonna be a lot of trials it's, and tribulations you know oh, yeah. there's gonna it's be like, a lot like of ups old, and downs like, and like yo i can't stand you right now <laughs> you know what i'm saying like yo for real i can't stand you right now for son. real yep, that has to, like, yep. yo yo fuck you know blah blah blah, blah, blah. Yep, yep, yep. you know what i mean when i see you it's on you know what i'm saying yeah but then yep, after that it's like yo man i love you man <laughs> you know what i'm saying like oh, yeah. like straight up like oh. that's that's a real crew you know it's oh, just man. through thick and thin and and no no matter what even if like poe he 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 you know in a way he, he loved mzk you know what i'm saying but like he's he would say y'all still my family you know what i'm saying yeah. he's just had a little issue between mm -hmm. him and Nas. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but that's that's their business but at the yeah. end of the day poe is still family to a lot of us and vice versa you know what i mean yeah. and that's the thing once you build that that family tie <clears throat> It, it, it's you can't break it you know what i'm saying yeah. like it's, it's it's a whole different level you know so i feel like this real or super is i feel this is all labels at the end of the day we we don't we don't know how each crew function right I, yeah i don't know I, even even with monster rebel we can't say they're not real crew. we don't know how they function we we're from the outside looking in you know what i'm saying like we can't yep. judge just because yep. You know they're from different crews and they get together. Yep. They have to have a relationship to where they consistently able to make routines. They would, you know, yep. vibe together, and you know. So we can't really judge that, you know. And I know MZK. We got it. We catch a lot of flack during yeah mid two thousand, right? <laughs> when we when we were at the top. People were like, oh, they're not a real crew. They're gonna die out in about two three years. This is you know a bunch of cats getting together, but. Like, yeah. you don't know how we function. You know, you're from the outside looking in. But I'm sure you know how we function, you know? <laughs> like, 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 like family vibe and, and communication, you know, every day is joking. There's time that we just on some dumb shit too, you know? But that's the thing. Like, a lot of people that just don't know. Uh, but shouts to all the crews out there. Yeah. Down, yeah. You know what I mean? Real, super, fake. Dance sport team, whatever, whatever, whatever it is. It's whatever cool. you call it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, like whatever it is, you know. But yeah. yeah, one of my thing is, if someone asks me what's a real crew, I'm like, hey, have you ever gone to an argument with that person? You hate their guts. And you're still you know in I mean? that crew. <laughs> yeah, and you're still in it, and you you went like beyond where like, yo, I'm about to. Yo, when I see this dude, or I, you know, it's it's a rap. You know what I mean? And oh, yeah. you still ride out for each other, no matter what. You know, yeah. wrong or right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's when you know, like okay, that's real cool. You know what yeah. I mean? Or when whenever somebody is is kind of you know, you go to events and somebody needed money. You know what I'm saying? You help each other out. Yo, yeah. I got you. Don't worry. I got your food. You know, and mm -hmm. just give. You know. But yeah, man, there's there's so many different meanings to real super, all that. I feel like that. That's all labels. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I can't judge any any crews out there. I don't know how each crew function. Yep. But my thing is going through the trials and tribulation together. That's yep. the key, right? Yeah. <laughs> so let me see. A uh, break dancing team. Yeah, I know, right? Group of black dancers dancing together. I know, right? Oh my, you know, oh my, it's crazy. Group of old guys teaming up. It says, "Did did you ever break with the Hobos crew out of Oxnard?" Um, there's a crew called Hobos Crew. Um, uh, yes and no. I broke with Jason. Jason is one of the Jason is one of the pioneers of abstract breaking and and. That guy, like, he taught me one of my moves. And um, he, 
like I know Perry, I know Pe I know um, Ho uh, Jason. Um, I also know um, Lost Tribe crew. Lost Tribe was from Simi Valley, but there's also some cats from Oxnard, like Scarecrow. Big shouts out mm -hmm. to Scarecrow. Um, and uh, Ethan and Josh and James and, you know, those cats really paved way over here in the 805. So yes and no, I did break with some of them. I did collab with them. Um, Scarecrow is a really great friend of mine, um, but he's also an awesome artist, man. That guy knows how to paint, yo. So, but right. uh, yeah, to answer your question, yes and no. Word. So in closing, Wanda, um, mm -hmm. do you have any advice for the new generation, the current generation and, and the past generation? Oh, I yeah, man. Good. Stop biting. Stop biting. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she went straight to the point like, nah, let me let me stop time. Just like, yo, stop biting. <laughs> for real, I, I, I'm going to come correct. Yo, stop biting. A lot of people okay, are biting so, a lot. So that's, and that, so that's a new generation. I, no. under, I understand where, you know, people get caught up in, in YouTube videos and they want to copy that move because it's a hot move. And, and but at the same time, it's like, you know, I understand there's a blueprint in hip hop. I understand that you copy those 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 moves and I know you under, you copy, you know, a certain style. But at the same time, it's like you got to find your own identity. You got to find your own moves because those moves that those people do. Yo, that's mm -hmm. that's their that's coming out of them. You know what I'm saying? That that's their 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 struggles. That's their their life that they're that they're expressing to you. You know what I'm saying? And when you go ahead and you copy that, it's like, man, you you're whack. You know what I'm saying? And and you get all the credit, it's like, nah, yo, like like mm -hmm. this new generation, I I I encourage you to get out of your comfort zone and 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 don't rely on so much of who who that person looks like. What do I got to do to look like them? You know, mm. learn your roots, learn your culture. Mm. Learn go to New York, go to the Bronx, ask Ness, ask K Mel, ask Crazy Legs, ask like you have mm. so many people pioneers in this culture. Ask Asia. Go talk mm -hmm. to her. Like, if you really mm -hmm. love this culture, if you really love the people that are, that have died for this culture, mm -hmm. because these, because hip hop has come from nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, like, it just it blows my mind when some people think it's okay to completely bite somebody and just run with it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's my advice to you. Like, it's okay to be you. It's okay to lose battles. It's okay to get smoked you have the choice to either yo i got smoked i'm gonna go back home and i'm gonna you know practice and i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna make sure that when i come back i'm gonna battle that person again you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like it, it, it's like you either do it or you don't you either real or you're mm -hmm. not you know what i'm saying and if you're gonna come fake best believe that the real people are gonna call you out and be ready for it you know what i'm saying so you know, that's my advice. Like, if you guys have any questions, yo, feel free to hit me up. Like, I I wouldn't mind, like, spinning some gems at you guys or, like, any questions because I'm learning, too. I'm mm -hmm. compl I'm always learning. I'm always getting taught by Casper till this day. He teaches me things still. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm learning from Maka. I'm learning from, from you. I'm learning. Like, so don't be, a don't be afraid to lose. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid to lose. And that that's that's my my advice to everyone is don't be afraid to lose. Word. Because you're gonna win Yourself, later. Like everybody right? has their moment to shine. Everybody has their moment to shine. Everybody in this culture does. So that's yeah. my advice. It's like, oh like, don't bite, dress correct, dress fresh. Match your brands, because if you can afford Adidas, Nikes, Pumas, Converse, you can afford Nike, 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 and Nike. So don't play that junk with me. Like, I don't know, but if if right, you're right. going, and if you can't afford it, cool, that's fine. Like, I'm not going to judge you. You know, everybody has hardships. Everybody has, but if you're, if you're going to represent this culture, represent it right. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't fake the funk with it. 
And if you are going to fake the funk with it, like, be honest. You know, just be honest. Like, like I, I can't afford Adidas and Adidas and Adidas, so I'll mix it up. Like, I'll wear chucks with jeans and a fur coat. Like, like there's style out there. Like, hip-hop mm-hmm. has come from nothing. And there's people back in the day that have worn Adidas with it, the illest pants, and they put graffiti on their pants and, and jean jackets and, like, a fur hat and, like, jewelry or whatever. Like, there's no excuse. It's 2018. There's no excuse to not represent yourself right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? There has been too many people in this culture that have paved way to represent themselves, even when they're broke and still come correct, dressed fresh. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, it's not like, like don't buying, look I, don't come don't come to stand <laughs> that you just woke up from bed. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just yeah, yeah. it's just whack, man. Yeah. Like it's just Yeah, I don't it think I don't think Yeah, I don't think one and the same go out there and get Gucci or Vitachi. <laughs> like, dude, just be fresh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no matter like, what, what you wear, just be fresh, you know. So I feel you. But yo, thank you for everybody for joining. Uh Man, big shout out to everybody. Yes, I big shout out to everyone. Thank you so much. Right now. And yo, Wanda, thank you for yo, yo, this 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 conversation is so official. You know what I mean? Thank, thank you. Thank you for man, taking us to that journey, you know, and and you with your trials and tribulation and sharing your deepest of the deepest, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, I have no words for that. So I, all I can say is just thank you, you know, for sharing that with us. And I'm sure everybody can learn from it, inspire me as well. And I'm sure it inspired many others, right? When I share this and post it on YouTube. And so, yeah, yo, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Stay correct like you are, you know, and we'll, we'll see each other soon. You know what I mean? Of course, man. And just thank you so much for this opportunity to to talk on your platform and and I'm really proud of you for doing this and and um you know I just want to spread love to everyone and and respects to everyone because life is hard is hard as it is you know what I'm saying and um you know I just appreciate so much that um you I was able to be on this so I just I really really truly respect you and um respect everybody in this so you know thank you so much everything no doubt oh oh snap legs in the house so much style (laughs) (laughs) lots of legs what up legs yo what's up legs y'all catch at the end make sure that once i share this make sure to catch uh wanda you know testimony it it got deep really deep Uh, you might need a tissue or two some serious flavor (laughs) thanks Oh, you already know, Lex. <laughs> she she got it. She repping right, you know. No, I'm trying. Girl, she repping U.S. U.S. right. U.S.A. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, no doubt. Peace, right, love, unity, having fun, all that. Yes. Good junk. <laughs> yes, man. All right, y'all. We out. Peace.